Hey guys, Bondo here. We're over at a job we're starting today. We're doing a frost protected foundation for a new house. We're on uh, Sandy Pond here, which is in uh, Sandy Creek, Plasky area, New York State. And we're working on uh, getting it dug right now. Here comes the moon! Hey, Frank! Watch everybody, get your boot time! Here comes the mud, right? Hey, buddy. Here it comes. Oh, right here. Here comes the mud. Here comes the mud, guys. Here it comes. Here's the tea, baby. Going in. here with his 311c excavator he's got that big ditching bucket we have to take quite a bit of uh this organic material out of here guys you can see that's got a lot of topsoil and crap in it wood and stuff they put a seawall in over here recently and i think some of the spoils got mixed in here you can see this material here is not that great so they put this whole seawall and we didn't do this work this was done by someone else all the way around there so when they did that i think they got down into well, i know they got down into organics here where they did their base so we got to get that out of there that's what Dwayne's boxing that out now and uh that's what we're doing we got his uh 95 horsepower uh kubota skidster there or 90 horsepower kubota skidster there in case we gotta move some stuff we had to move a bunch of lumber they had all the lumber where that pile is they had a line of lumber all the way down here we moved it over there this morning with the skidster now we're just gonna dig this thing out and i'll show you you know i'll follow me along on this build it's gonna be kind of cool how we do this it's gonna have radiant heat and everything in it um pretty nice nice little foundation for this brand new house on the pond here be a fun project the weather's pretty nice if it don't rain it's a nice cloudy day it's about 65 out you can see the wood and stuff in there guys he's ripping chunks of wood now we're into gravel there that looks like gravel underneath it but you can see they just buried all that crap so this looks like gravel this was all filled in at one time so i got a little mock-up of a couple new dura blocks I know how uh, high I want to put all this. This will all be frost protected, like I said, with a uh, foam, styrofoam board. Stay tuned, guys. Getting a lot of wood up in here, guys. See all that wood that he's got? Chunks of whatever. Railroad tie or something. You see one right there. Right there. Gotta get all that out of here. Put some good stuff in. That's why I didn't use my little excavator over here. But it took me forever. Probably gonna have to haul that out of here. A big chunk of wood right here. That'll get dug up when we do the footer though. got his ditching bucket on there because uh, this thing is all sand so it's easy digging so he's using that big ditching bucket I got the laser here and I'm just going along and giving him marks like when I check it here and it's good I just draw him a line across like this scratch him a line like that and he goes from there 
then he knows he's good up to that point laser set up over there by the shed so I got to check it like right here you're good right there yep and I'll draw him a line like that and he'll move on see some of the wood and crap we got in there we're gonna have a pile of stuff we can't use but pretty much getting getting things rock and roll this is all sand underneath here used to be an old house here and they filled this whole lot in took the house out and uh filled it in with sand and then gravel so we're uh some of this stuff here i believe this wood and stuff is from when they put the seawall in so we'll get rid of all that that's our bad pile over there junk pile with all the wood and stuff in it junk in here we're gonna have to haul out of here all this wood and just junk from that old seawall they just left it here we'll have to haul that out of here see all that wood and stuff we're getting out of there the guys that did the wall just buried a bunch of crap We'll get all this out of here, haul all this away. Just the top. We got quite a big pile of crap though. Okay guys, that's what we got done so far. Walk you around. These are gonna be porches here on the ends. That's why that's dug out so wide. To be a porch wall, an outer wall here and a wall in here and that'll be the concrete porch this is coming around I guess it'd be the north side there's another porch back here so same thing wall here wall here and then now we got to dig the this is the main house area this big section in here it's going to come over to this wall right here and uh then the garage is going to go this way out here and connect back to this corner we got to get rid of all this um crappy fill that's in here we're going to put it right on the dump truck and haul it out of here so that's what we're doing next because that's right in the garage and yeah take this out of here because then there's more here we got all this you can see this this all come from that dirt wall when they put that wall in it's all organic dirt railroad ties and stuff from the old wall in there boards you name it so we got to get rid of that one load load number two going out of here and then there's gonna be a load underneath here you got shingles and stuff in there uh, part of the old house here freaking shingles Digging up shingles and stuff, so we got to dig all that out and put some more gravel down underneath there. Jesus, the wood and pieces of wood. What a mess. I must have just buried the old house right here. I didn't clean it out, so I could come over with his truck, get rid of some of this crap. That's the old foundation right there. That ain't coming. That's not coming. Yep, there's the old foundation. Right where we're building, so we're gonna have to get that out of there because this is all organic right here. That's all organic dirt. There's grass in it. So we gotta get that, get that wall out of there. Might have to use the other bucket. 
it's right on top of our wall. Our wall is right there. The block wall is pretty much underneath it. You can see if you can get that out of there. Ooh, whole ground. The smaller bucket. Yeah, he's gonna have to go get you. Get the smaller bucket and rip into that. Slab right there. Okay, that's what's going on. That's the old concrete pad right there. So we'll be above that. But we got to get all that crap out of there. That's good there. That's good. Oh, that's good. Got rid of that. Put some of the gravel in it. There we go. Back her down, Wayne. Back her down. Just piling up some of the extra fill, getting it out of the way. Of what she looks like. This is the garage area. I'm standing in here. Right over to from where Duane is over to this wall. Here. This whole section here is garage. And then like I said before, this is the house section. And then you got your porches out here. Ponds here. See that in the background. Here's the front porch here. And then this wall over here is the end of the house. Down through here. That's what she looks like. Got it all dug pretty much. Dwayne's just cleaning up the pile, making it a little smaller so we can get in here with our uh, trucks and stuff. Come out good.